Hi everyone, welcome back to Through Alchemy. So today's reading is going to be all about the truth on your person and this connection. So we have three piles from the left to right. The first pile is Blue Argonite. The second pile is Opalite. And the third pile is polychrome heart. Pause if you need a little longer. Pick the one which calls your name the most. Now I'm going to begin with pile number one. Hello pile number one. If you chose the blue argonite, this is going to be your reading. So the first card that we have for you is Dove, Peace, Serenity. Hmm. I have a few pre-shuffle cards. We have a reunion of souls. We have discernment. I feel like taking this in reverse. We have healing. Unleash your creativity and honesty. I wonder if there's something that this person has to confess or let you know. Because I'm feeling like there's so much like readjustment over here like it's this person is getting ready to pursue you in some shape or form or take action towards you It was not visible to them before, but I think now they understand a few things over here. Brunette female. There could have been some past energies, okay, um, which were hindering their ability to come towards you. I feel like you're tired, like you're tired of waiting for this person and you want some honesty, like you want to know if, you know, they want something or not. And I think they understand this, like you somehow, you know, energetically, they feel you're detaching, like you're healing and you're, you're almost getting fed up with waiting, family. Because you're looking for something that's content. Um, that is actually like not stagnant is what I'm feeling. Something that wants to move almost when I'm behind. Like you're, you're pissed at this. Like if something about it makes me feel like... This person finds you very attractive and they do want something with you. Okay. Um, this, I just feel like so much frustration on your end. That takes away from what actually Spirit wants to let you know about them. We have, I feel much more safer in the purity of love because of you. When my fears take over, I freeze in the moment. I have been craving you. They have not taken moves towards you because they're scared of what they want with you. Um, and their yearning for you has almost brought them closer to the truth that they want love. That they want emotional, I'm having relevancy in their life. I almost feel like you have really ignited something in this person which was dormant which was not even keeping an eye for emotional companionship. Like the discernment in reverse tells me that they think 
uh, with the reunion of souls that you are a soulmate of some kind, like you're something special. I know you won't feel the same. They doubt if you feel the same. Maybe they have not confessed this or maybe their lack of actions make you feel like there's nothing uh see i'm deeply sorry that i walked away from you if they did or it could also be that you know there was a separation or it could also be that they just didn't do anything i have inner child wounds yeah because they've been scared of love like intimacy really scares them and they are an emotionally unavailable person i want to let you know that I don't desire anyone the way I desire. That's why they feel like this is special. Uh, like uh, the truth of this situation, the truth about your person is that they yawn for you. They're they're honestly quite, quite obsessed with you internally. Um, and they feel something like you're detaching. I'm telling you, please don't move on. This person is feeling something like you're getting fed up of them delaying and sitting on it. Um, and I feel like you've moved on, like you're detaching. I'm telling you, like, this is what is pushing them to make a move, which is not exactly the most fair thing to do. I need security because when you were stagnant energetically, they were also stagnant but now you're moving and they're also feeling the need to move in life i show off on social media so they pretend to put a facade on i can't move on from you it's almost like they think that you're moving on but they can't and this is also giving them a push like i gotta at least try i'm gonna miss the bus is what i'm hearing i'm gonna i'm gonna have a missed opportunity i'm scared of losing you yeah thank you spirit like i'm embarrassed over my actions I stalk you so this person is like quite on your online social media presence something about it um it's really giving me like the they're moving when you're leaving that is the truth like this is someone who doesn't value it when it's in front of them um and it's not just like in a way where it's like i don't value value love but i'm more scared of love i'm almost hearing like you can't lose something you never had so they when they don't have that feeling they it sounds a little vain but that's what i'm honestly picking up I'm going to use my own self-curated deck if you wish to get personal readings. Um, the information is given down below. We have, I'm working on taking responsibility towards our union. I'm working on my shortcomings. Something about it makes me feel like this person is coming, but why is it when you are leaving? That is a little problematic aspect for me, personally speaking. I'm wanting to come out of isolation. I've worked hard on my healing because you have started moving energetically i was conditioned to have unhealthy notions of what relationships must be this is subconscious um this is when you have a push and pull so this person is a fearful avoidant when in fearful avoidance one of the main thing about them is that they crave a lot of intimacy but they don't know how to handle it um it is different from dismissive so there's always a push and pull with a fearful avoidant i stay silent because i don't feel like i'm ready see there's a push and pull. Like they think that they're ready, then they're not. That's what I'm telling you. This is the truth about this person. I have never been so happy and emotionally fulfilled with someone. Honestly, you have to recognize the dysfunctionality in this person's behavior. And I completely understand that, you know, nobody is perfect, neither are you. You also probably have your flaws, but this is your one um indication that you have work to do of course again i am not bargaining on that but i'm kind of keeping this at the forefront of your your you know your mind that this is not exactly the most healthiest situation for you to heal your nervous system okay i'm gonna get um a few more cards for your advice what your advice to do for this person in terms of this person 
I'm gonna take the fire in reverse here. Yeah. We have a few flippers. I'm gonna take this in reverse protection in reverse and we have potential. Oh my god, I just heard stop living for potential obstacle. You know this this situation is being blocked, it's not playing out for a reason. Retreat. Go inside pile number one. Please look at why do you want to chase this because you're also scared of intimacy and this intimacy fear is not going to just go away by becoming closer to someone. This will go away when you feel the things that you felt in your childhood that made you feel like getting close to someone is destructive for me. Um, it's unsafe. It's not protected. Um, it's not safe for me. It's not protective. Um, I see that, you know, there can be something over here. But then again, like, why is it that it's like this push and pull between the both of you? Why do you keep having this run and chaser dynamic with each other? If it was that healthy for you, why can't you just collide? Why can't you just, you know, I don't know, glide together? Why is it not smooth? It's not about right person, wrong time. I know somebody is telling themselves this. This is what the situation is. Take it or leave it. Okay? So pile number one, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. Information personal readings is given down below. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the opalite, this is going to be your reading. So the first card that we have for the truth about this connection, envy, protection. Uh, you're being protected from this person, but also is this connection being protected? Um, and if the both of you are, whatever your circumstances is, if you've been like pushed away from this person or a separation happened, it was for the good is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a couple of messages. Like one of the things is that you actually need to be away from this person if you are. It's almost in the sense where You're, you're like um it's actually good that this person is not coming towards you because they would mess things up for you more than you think they would solve your wounds that you think this person is the prescription for that pain does that make sense you think that they are going to solve your problems they're not going to solve your problems they're not going to solve your pain they're not going to um abracadabra on your childhood wounds okay um balance number 12 soulmate patience teaching i want to take this in reverse this also in reverse sexual energy you guys are actually being blocked off and you're blocking yourself also so pile number two i think that you're being approached by other people but you're blocking yourself off you're not allowing other people to come in your life you are skeptical of whatever is happening i feel like you want to be on your own way you want to be doing your own things. It's not happening. I get a very blunt energy. Like it's almost like you want to be in your la la land. You're stuck on this person. You want them. You feel like they will satiate you. Uh, this person is just a means to the end dating queen you have stopped accepting other people 
and for majority of you you're not really with this person dark male that could be them that could be you it's something about being blonde it's almost like you're just waiting you're hung up on them karmic this is a means to the end i hate to break it to you because you are very fixated on them and i'm not denying the mysticism of this connection but this is not your fairy tale story um it's it's because i can't i can't lie okay i can't sell you a story that is not true this person came to unleash you from the barriers that you had put for yourself your inner child woundings mainly i get a very wounded uh, childhood energy from a father figure perhaps and i feel like you've been going in circles trying to open the door that is not meant for you to open because you're you're desperate as of now the truth about this situation is that even this person is probably feeling the same they want to solve it or they're giving you a reaction in which you are retaliating massively you are feeling like no 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 i know that you love me i know i've i've seen tarot readings i have a tarot deck i know you feel for me um why aren't you coming towards me it's because they are walking their own path where they have different illusions in front of them that they need to break okay first of all at uh, the same way you're not able to see how good or bad this situation is for you so relatively the truth of the situation or about this person is that the both of you are being blindsided that this is a karmic connection this is not your fairy tale and i know that you're going to still keep thinking about it unless and until you clear out your karma with this person you are going to be hooked um i am not taking away from the pain that it can create within you to also not just absorb or just maybe somebody is relieved over here that this is not my person but it's in a way where you want to be done with it right and this will be done when you learn what you have to learn uh when you learn that this person is not the solution for your childhood woundings this person will not cure the pain that you have inside this person will mirror it back to you okay i know you won't feel the same rejection moon the both of you feel unworthy of love that's why you don't really do much this person doesn't do much because they already have um proclaimed that i am unworthy of love and you probably try to chase them or keep tabs on them because you feel like i'm not worthy of love so i have to chase it love runs away from me if you're my friends about you you inspire me so even for them this is like a huge deal they don't know how to like you know like break it down like what is it and they also have this la la land in their head i'm not saying that you're delusion i'm not saying that you're doing something wrong because you feel such a strong connection but it's also like this is defying i don't know what laws of self love it's painful for you you know that i was thinking of you last night i want to marry you one day i want to talk to you but i'm scared again rejection wound you're helping each other to heal that and because of this intense connection that you have with each other it makes you believe that this is my person and they think the same i've been dreaming of you you visit each other in the dream state you know it's a very strong soul mate over here i need your time and commitment but there's also insecurity like there's certainty required when you're pursuing a romantic connection your inner child if it's that wounded it will not help you pursue it and that is what you probably are doing like you're not allowing people in you're stuck you want this person and you're stuck on it and probably them too um but it's not happening again see that's what i'm saying i don't desire anyone the way i desire you because this person gives you the same chemical reaction that you have felt in your childhood when it comes to unsafety in love i'm so embarrassed over my actions they behave the same way one of your parents have behaved so it makes you feel like this is love but this is not love that's why you 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 think that this person if they get their act right you get their uh, you get your act right and you both uh, you know uh, resurrect this relationship from the ashes you will redeem your inner child 
you will recreate your childhood with this person and you will finally be able to have a happy home this is not how it goes um you can't recreate it i do talk about you again there's a lot of like talking and taking help from others i all i really want is to see you again i'm getting like if you're you know messed up in your head because of this so are they i choose to be with you they want you okay i believe we're meant to be together the same thing i'm telling you sometimes i wish i never met you this is a conflict energy because this is not pa peaceful it's painful Pla uh, don't chase pleasure and pain that you've always felt in your childhood you need to chase peace and you know where peace comes from peace comes from within am i right or am i wrong so i'm gonna pull out a few messages from my self-curated oracle deck if you wish to book a personal reading information is given down below we have i'm sorry for the way i treated you in the past you didn't deserve it it's not a peaceful connection between the both of you your confidence intimidates me often it gets me to a place of insecurity and defensiveness this person wants you to reduce your shine because they're not they've not found their own i'm trying to be the one you deserve will you be a little bit more patient with me still there's a little bit of like oh what if this works out but are you really good for each other spiritual intensity of our connection scares my logical mind the emotional abandonment from my childhood made me feel like i'm unworthy of love that's what i said right thank you spirit i'm gonna pull out a few cards to conclude this get a few advice cards for you so we have uh gifts in reverse release and moon bottom of the deck we have connection and evolution it is to try to leave it behind with what has happened you are holding on to this connection because it gives you hope that if i recreate this and this relationship works it means that this person changed for me and i am worthy of love because they replicate your parent in your past so recreating this situation is not what you're supposed to do is to recreate yourself that wants to get validated from this person no because this person mirrors your father figure or your mother figure that doesn't mean they will redeem you you are the only one who decides your worth it is self worth for a reason and because it comes from self okay so pile number two this was your reading i'm gonna leave it here i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more with the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated information personal readings is given down below and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number three if you chose the polychrome heart this is going to be your reading so the first card that we have for you truth about this connection or person peacock pregnancy wealth a little patience is required with this situation i think you already know that this is not gonna bloom right where it is we have sexuality sexual arts new day i'm gonna take this upright this in reverse in our journey I'm seeing some sort of like conflict between the both of you or like internal struggle perhaps on either ends. It's because you both, in fact, or especially your person struggles with self-expression. Sexuality and sexual acts is almost like shame 
shame for being who you are, shame for feeling seducted, uh, seduced, excuse me, uh, shame for feeling seductive as well. Like perhaps you have shame around being a woman, um, expressing your body. Um, I don't know, your body, maybe you want to dance or something like something about it feels like it's misinterpreted by yourself. Uh, a lot of, you know, I'm getting like throat chakra and uh, sacral chakra with all the oranges, but also throat chakra with the expression card over here. It's almost like you're a beautiful person and you don't own it. You want to hide your beauty or it could be your person. It's because still a part of you is struggling. You're carrying past life trauma um, when it comes to perhaps uh, sexual violence or it could be in this lifetime as well, domestic violence. Or it could be a person, maybe they're carrying it from their past lifetimes. Um, maybe they could be a different gender in their past lifetimes, right? Um, some sort of trauma that you both are clearing out over here. And I feel like if you're watching this reading, you're going to be skeptical like if, it does, if it's that serious. But yes, I'm telling you, there's some blockage over here that's been carried on um, from your past lives. And the both of you are helping each other release that. And it majorly it is it is related to your self expression in enjoying yourself basically there's shame in enjoying yourself being yourself, um which is you you be you're probably thinking that it's just in this lifetime no I'm getting like it's been carried from past lifetimes so that's why it is present in this lifetime because it needs to be cleared out. Um, I'm almost kind of thinking you know if this person has not told you how they feel about you or they're just hiding it or they're very silent towards you because they have feelings for you um it's because they're not connected with themselves they don't want to look inside i'm taking this in reverse sun in reverse narcissistic abuse happy in um unhappy in a child but it's very happy when it's around you you give them a very motherly vibe king of cups in reverse this person is actually immature or they're acting like that right now um, strength in reverse as well. So we have Leo energy twice. Very insecure right now. Hiding their emotions very closely to their chest. Okay, we have eight of swords in reverse. But the truth is that they recognize this. They're conscious about um, their drawbacks. They're conscious about what's bothering them. At the very least, we have Ace of Pentacles. I, I just heard cash rules everything around me. They don't want to get into a relationship till the time they're financially stable. It's very important for them. So you're almost like with Page of Wands, Emperor. It's like, you know, Aries and Aji. It's like Ten of Swords. They're also ending a cycle. Like, this is taking a lot from them. They're hurting. Also, I'm getting like crying in their sleep or crying to them. Wow. Maybe they're re reliving some memories through their dream state. Maybe they're dreaming about you. Their subconscious is reproducing things for them to, um, because they're suppressing it in reality. It's a very painful thing for them. It's, uh, you know, they, they probably don't even know that their dreams are showing them past life memories or something like this. It's very deep. So... Even if they don't want the recollection of that, it's still coming up for them. We have the four of swords upright. Yeah, they're not approaching you. It's not because they don't have interest in you. The truth is that they are preoccupied. I'm hearing, God damn it. Like, understand, you are so codependent on this person, pile number three. Nine of cups. Um, they want you. But right now, they're like bleeding. I said, I'm begging, begging you. Ooh. Put your love and hand out. They're not showing you, but they're actually need for you as well. Like you both are codependent on each other. Judgment in reverse. Uh, they also made a poor choice over here. Maybe they didn't let you know how much they feel for your temperance in reverse because they were feeling impatient with themselves. They thought that these feelings won't last is also what I'm hearing. They want to persevere through this, okay? Two of Pentacles, Nine of... They don't have the space for a relationship right now, is what I'm hearing. I feel like they don't have the space for it. That is the truth. They don't have the bandwidth for a relationship. If they're not approaching you, it's because they know what they want. Let me let me go ahead on that again. What do they? 
What do they really want? What do they really want? What do they really want from pile number three? Taking this in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Reverse. Five of Swords in reverse. What do they really want from pile number three? They don't want to be left out. They want something that's long lasting. The funny thing is they're not doing anything about it. What is the truth about this connection? Okay, I'm gonna change the deck. I'm gonna uh, get a few cards from my self curated oracle deck. If you wish to get a few personal readings booked, information is given down below. I'm aroused by the thought of having you near me. The thing is, they have a lot of shame around their sexual expression. I have been having major realizations about our love that it really ignites me inside. This is what I've wanted. I want you to come closer. Distance is heavy on me too. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I was blinded by my own pain. I see you for who you are. They pushed you away in the beginning. I'm going through many changes. I don't know what to say to you. Exactly. They don't have the bandwidth. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I want to be close to you. Again, it's a little calculated when a, in like the most... I, I don't know. Like this person is like... I don't know if obliging is the better way to say that... It's good that they're not coming towards you. It means that they're at least responsible enough not to scatter around, or bleed on other people. I miss having your presence in my life. No one's got my attention. You're the, still the one I desire. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much what I'm picking up over here. I'm going to pull out an advice card for you before we conclude this reading. Pile number three, what advice do we have, spirit? I'm going to take this card upright. Epiphany, you're, you're having realizations about each other and yourself. Moon, attachment. I wanted to put this into verse. You are very attached to this person. I know detachment is easier said than done, DK, but you are misinterpreting this person's presence in your life as something that you did not get in your childhood. Perhaps as a father figure, missing father figure, you feel like you need protection that a man can give you or, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's almost like I'm getting that example very um, prominently. You can take care of yourself if you're a woman. And if you're a man and you're wanting to be around this person and you feel like they, you know, just having them around or their love, or even I'm getting like your 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 um, person's sexual energy will heal you. That's not true. Um, love is received in many forms without touching the other person. So maybe you have uh, fears of intimacy, right? So you're not able to get close to the other person emotionally. That is exactly what you want. So the first way to get um, over your fear of intimacy is to get closer to yourself. Feel the emotions you need to feel either ways. Okay. So pile number three, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. And I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. Information for personal readings is given down below. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye.